Thank you for your kind invitation to contribute to the launch of Strand 2 at 25, learning from the impact of the North-South Implementation Bodies project. While I'm unable to attend in person, I am pleased to be able to participate by providing this short video message to congratulate you on your success in securing Peace Plus funding. Funding through previous Peace and Interreg programmes has delivered impactful and transformative projects, benefiting all areas of society. I am hopeful the Peace Plus programme will build on this positive work to deliver much needed investment to our communities and deliver on its aims of social and economic cohesion. The strategic planning and engagement investment area is a new and interesting area of peace funding. This should enable us to capitalise on all island relationships, grow east-west links, share expertise and deal with common challenges. The cohesive and knowledgeable partnership led by the vastly experienced Centre for Cross-Border Studies provides a strong foundation for successful implementation of this project. Your project provides the opportunity to identify and reflect on the collective impacts of the North-South implementation bodies, their contribution to addressing longer-term challenges and shared priorities across this island. Strategic cooperation is key to maximise our resources and their impact. The Good Friday Agreement is the cornerstone of the peaceful and thriving society we enjoy today. The North-South bodies are a key tenet of this agreement and I welcome the important contribution their work makes and the benefits this brings. They have a wealth of experience and expertise that can be utilised and built upon. North-South engagement is essential for us to build as a society culturally and economically. Cooperation has and will continue to be essential to foster reconciliation and face our shared challenges. As you will be aware, my department is the co-sponsor for the Special EU Programmes Body and I have seen firsthand the impact of this excellent work in implementing the cross-border EU programmes. The SEUPB's input to this project, along with the other implementation bodies, will, I am sure, provide an important and valuable contribution. It is fitting that your project, launching this year, helps celebrate 25 years of cross-border cooperation under the agreement. This is a significant milestone and whilst there have been challenges, it is a testament to the resilience of all involved, the strong relationships maintained and the desire to build a peaceful and prosperous society. It is incumbent upon us all to continue with this process and your work will assist. I wish everyone involved in this project every success and I look forward to hearing the outcomes. Please enjoy the rest of today's event.